People know that kind of head that you sign, you just want to do back from the back. That's how Aminu's head actually does me. <laughs> Welcome back to Vibrant with Arise and of course I'm Arise. So you already know the vibes. It's Wednesday and it's TMC Wednesdays and that's on period. This episode guys, this episode, I've seen the messages. Arise, where's the review? See you guys, I'm not feeling too well right now. <laughs> but yes, um, hmm. there's a lot for us on back. First of all, what was that title? Sometimes love is not enough. Like no capo, you know, love is not enough. But like why are y'all trying to break our hearts like that? But honestly, like, for me, I've always kind of said it that I don't really think love is ever enough. Because, like, look at Tiara and Tayo, for example. They really like themselves, but there are just so many things that are, like, standing in their way. So many things that are clashing and all of that. And it's just, like, love cannot triumph this. Or, um, in fact, if you actually think about it, all of them have issues where, like, they really want to be with whoever they're with or whoever they're trying to be with. But, like, something else is just stopping it. Like, if you look at, um... Aminu and Tumini, like it's just do you get like that's why I, mean, I don't do that love of stuff. Like I don't do those things because honestly, like the heartbreak is unnecessary. Well, that being said, me too. I want love. Like God, me too. I want love. Like me too. I want to be having a hard day and my partner will go and buy my food from my favorite restaurant. Me too. I want them to use combo to come and pick me up. Oh God, me, I, me, I am the friend. I'll be like, no, no, we can see tomorrow. No, go. We can see tomorrow. No, <laughs> What shall we do today that we can't do tomorrow? Hey, they go <laughs> over to you. Nigerian parents. I want to see Nigerian mothers, but I just want I will leave it very blank and say like Nigerian parents are manipulative AF. Because what was um Larry's mom doing? And she's like, Oh, we go excuse me, ma, like you've overstepped your boundaries numerous times and she's trying to call you back and now you're making it seem like oh you are some negative energy and they've made you feel like you're a negative like you are negative energy and like she's trying to now gaslight them and flip the scripts and i'm actually happy that they didn't like larry didn't buy into it because honestly like the woman it's time she actually left like he told you he didn't want and then you went to please 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 we need to nigerian parents need to do better because there is no reason for her to be trying to seem like the victim in that situation when she clearly isn't if anything she's a villain girls and passive aggressiveness like hi me too but like there's this thing we do where like you you see something or your you overthink something or your head shows you something and instead of you to just come out and be like oh you know what's this thing i'm seeing is it what it is we would give you all the attitude in the world tell me there's no reason for tiara to be asking ty your numerous twice what did you do yesterday what did you i'm like sis just 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 like you know what you saw just ask him oh why were you me i know i can't talk now because i'm watching it too but like i know that if i was having me too i'll give i'll give vibes i'll give energy to and be like what did you do yesterday but honestly like tayo should have never lied from the onset like you know tayo tayo you know i've been telling you since that you should tell tiara no i want you i want you and now i can't feel sorry for you even though we are friends <laughs> text me call me tayo call me but even though we are friends eh, i cannot I cannot, do you understand? Like, I can't feel bad for you because you and I both know that you messed up by not telling her. And now that, like, even, it actually even makes sense because she actually works in the office. Like, how did he think she wasn't going to find out while she works in the office? Like, go make! It didn't make sense now. And now he's not for me. Oh, I love you. Don't, I, oh, jazz up. But he's like, oh, don't, don't work. I will take care of you. So that she will spend 665000 and then you'll be shouting again. Please, no. Me, I love Tiara and Tayo. Like, I really like them together. But I understand that they have valid issues and valid differences, you know. And also, like, her lifestyle has made her, like, her, her upbringing and who she has who she was prior to meeting Tayo had, you know, kind of shaped her in a way that it would be very difficult for her to change. And even as she's changing, it's like, you know, she has to now change and, like, be who she's not just because she doesn't want to lose Tayo. And, you know, she's clearly, like I said in my past video, she's clearly insecure about, like, the whole working class layer. <laughs> I said it, Shaba, I said it too. I said it, and she really said it this episode. She's clearly insecure about, like, the whole working class lady thing. And, you know, she's really been trying to live up to that, trying to, like, be who she thinks he wants her to be so that she doesn't lose him to Hadiza or any other working class woman. And honestly, like, I don't think anybody really, like, I get that Tayo wants her to be the best version of herself, but I don't think anybody should change, like, 
make such drastic changes about who they are just so that they can be because she's not even doing it for herself do you get like i'm a i'm a huge standard of do it for yourself like if you want to change change for yourself but she's doing it more for him and i don't really think any healthy relationship would work when you're just constantly you are constantly making the changes for your partner just because you don't want to lose your partner like you would eventually start to like dislike or to lose this partner and you would like it's not really like you can already see what's happening so i feel like they do need to break up it's sad but i feel like it's necessary for them to break up so that they can actually on this like they can get to know who they are and know if they are even compatible and she can know if it's something she ideally wants to be like the woman tyler wants her to be she can know if it's something she wants he wants like she wants to be and Tayo as well can know if like if she decides to not be the woman you want her to be do you still love her enough to still be with her because she may decide to not be that woman and he will say oh no 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 i will take care of you but he's just doing it because he doesn't want to lose her and then later he'll start getting upset when she says oh come and give me 5k for this or come and give me this this, this for this do you understand so yeah but her bringing a third party in i'm like this girl is crazy like no let me not lie tiara is crazy because me if I see my partner hugging his ex, I don't think I will go and get high. I don't know. I don't know. What do you, what do you think? Would you, like, if you, if you were Tara, what would you do? Like, what would be your next step? I feel like for me, my next step, or more, now to they sub you. Hey, even as I've said this, if I'm embarrassed. But I probably would sub you and then be passive aggressive and then bring it up. And maybe just sing this life, I can't kill myself. Because that's my song. But I don't know. That's, that's really... That's a really drastic move, guys. Aminu is stressing me because it's so or like how does Aminu not see all these things happening around him? Like how does Aminu not realize that Patrick is hot on his tail? Because ugh, like how did he walk in, see his assistant, and the first thing he asked her is, Are you okay? He didn't ask her why are you making a call in my office? Like honestly to be very honest with you like again i don't know if it's rich people thing but i mean he's too 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 trusting he's too gullible and i'm really hoping that with too many hopefully too many coming back into his life will help him balance things out because too many on the other hand is not as trusting she's very guarded and it's important because he has a lot of enemies and i'm really no honestly i'm praying for him because if anything should go left Hmm. I mean, he's in trouble. I'm really, really, really praying for Aminu. But honestly, me, if I even want someone to love me the way Aminu loves to me, look at how I'm blushing. Because honestly, like, I don't know. It's above me. Oh. It's honestly above me. Like, me, I really. I, okay, you know what? Let me not say it anymore. Anyway, to me, it was seven us bad babe vibes, especially in the post credit scene. I'm like, I am to me, me with that hair. I'm like, you go, sis, show them, show them who you are. How dare I mean, ask her, oh, do you still love me? Sir, are you a joke? What kind of rubbish is that? Why do people even have those conversations, though? Like, do you still love me? I don't know. Like, anyway, if you're watching this <laughs> and we've been involved, text me, do you still love me? <laughs> Do you still love me or tell me? Who knows? I'm mean, still. <laughs> Got the camera. I actually have a very, a very serious question. Do you guys think Larry has mommy issues? Because there is no reason. Like, how is Larry professing love again for, um, you know, Lola's mother? It's. It's for me now at this point. It's almost like, okay, did you not learn from the last? Like, men like to form all this. Oh, they broke my heart in JS5. <laughs> They broke my heart in just one and that's why I am the way I am right now. But like, you know, you see him after the whole thing with Mrs. What was her name? Mrs. Lawson. After the whole thing with Mrs. Lawson, you see him repeating the same mistake again. And honestly, that thing of, oh, ever since I said oh, that, I feel like it was one of those things that it was inside and he did not know that he had mommy issues. This is my thought process. So he didn't know he had mommy issues or he was craving older women until he tried somebody. But like, there's no need for him to be you know, like, I don't know, professing love every single time. And he's saying things like, oh, I cannot detach my feelings from what we're doing. If you know you cannot handle friends with benefit, then why are you doing it? Do you understand? And now you're putting her in a tight position. Like, even though she likes him, I promise you she's not trying to settle down with him. Like, especially because she's, I think she's at a stage where she's just trying to have fun and be happy. But Larry, Larry is such a commitment guy. And for someone that's such a commitment guy, he, he do be playing a lot. And I think he's one of the ones that he will see fire, he will put his hand inside to get burnt. Like, 
Honestly, I feel like he needs time to really be alone because if we dip it from the beginning of this show He has been with somebody at every like point. If it was not Shade, it was Mrs. Lawson. It's not Mrs. Lawson. It's um What do you call it? He went back to Shade again. Then if he's not if he's not going back to Shade, then he's with Lola's mom He's with Abota. Like They're just like he needs time to be on his ones and figure out who he really is I don't know if that makes any sense Casually, eh? I love how men just very, very casually skip over important details of the day. Like, there's no reason, again, why Tayo would forget that he saw um, Hadiza earlier in the day. Do you understand? Like, there's no reason that that would just skip over. I, I get that, oh, he didn't really see it as a big deal. Like, he just... But still, like, it's, this is a small issue. But there are some big issues that men just forget and skip through and make you look like a lunatic because he kept like i don't even know i'm just tired of men lewis and lola lewis and lola are actually stressing me that's the truth they are stressing me because they are beginning to fight a lot over the littlest things and i also don't like the fact that she's kind of manipulating him into doing what she wants like i didn't like that she told the mother to leave it to her like that's not how you really want to start a relationship she's almost manipulating him into doing what she wants by sending him to go and sleep in the guest room until he becomes the man she loves basically until he agrees to help the mother just and he, he will because he doesn't want to lose her but that's manipulation and i don't know if like People would like people don't see, but I really think it's not right. I think like if you want something to work, the least thing you need to be doing is manipulating somebody. But then again, I remember they also said I is very emotionally manipulative. So who knows? Lola may just be the blueprint for everything. <sighs> Guys, I don't know if it's me. I really don't know if it's me, but I don't think um Jasmine's mom, sorry, promises mom. <laughs> I don't think promises mom like promise and like i really to be very honest with you i don't know how promises mom is entering this season i don't i don't think her part was necessary i feel like they are really trying to milk it and trying to push it and everything but it's not really adding up to me and i don't know i kind of guess i kind of guess or wish that they would just do without it. Like, I love Shola Shubawali. She's an amazing actress and everything. I just don't know if her character is necessary in this season. But that aside, not Jasmine actually, I'm sorry, not Promise actually saying, you know, I know that the reason why our relationship fell apart was because of me. And Aminu just was like, hmm. Like, sis, sis, like, you know, I let me tell you, I know, because by the time you start to bring up those conversations, you would think that the man would be like, oh no, it was both of us, or oh no, it was just one of those things. But I mean, it was like, yeah, take all the, take all the responsibility, sis, because she tell no lies. I'm like, Jasmine, pack your load and go. Like, I don't even get how someone can constantly want to be embarrassed. But then again, the women of TMC have shown me time and time again that they love embarrassment. <sighs> I think I've talked about everybody i just want to say again that like tiara and tayo are really putting me through a lot of emotional heartbreak because if you know me you know i stand tiara and it's really hurtful to me that tiara is you know going through this amount of pain and like tayo really you could have done better because now you just look like a liar even though that was not the aim and again actually ask him lewis because lewis asked him a valid question why do you care whether or not she goes back to work because you know that you took that contract you deceived everybody including yourself that you were doing it for tiara but a part of you took that contract because a well, part of you made her get a job because she wanted that contract so i know he i know he thinks he had like pure intentions and all of that but like honestly i just feel like he really could have done better and he should learn to like be more patient with tiara especially because if you are dating a like if you are way older and you're dating a younger girl then you kind of know what you signed up for because you guys would never no matter how mature she is you guys would never be on the same mental wavelength and you cannot treat her the way you would treat any of your like age mates or people in your age range and tiara is about 22 i know i'm 22 and i don't behave like she does but like at the same time you can understand that she's still very young she's useful and like i feel like he's asking so much of her 
and not really giving her a lot like he's kind of made the whole relationship seem like it's her fault when even him he has his own fault and as well so um yeah i don't know um i think that's basically everything about this episode um yeah just let me know what you thought about it in the comments below i know like this episode i was pretty serious like this review i was pretty serious it's just that it's hurting me oh jamila and inside inside of my stomach so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on the notifications as well follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys in the next video bye